I'm uh, Dr. Jay Tilak, uh, working as a professor in orthopedics at uh, Amrita Institute of Medical Sciences, Cochin. I've been working in this institute for the past uh, 18 years now. Yeah, we in, at our institute, we started our joint replacement program way back in 2000. And since then, we have been doing a lot of joint replacement surgeries, especially of the knee, hip, and uh, shoulder. Uh, about four years back, our institute got the Da Vinci robot for uh, gastro department, gynecology department, and the Rosa robot for the neurosurgery. So it was an evolving, uh, the hospital was evolving and getting the latest technologies into the hospital, and it was natural that the hospital asked us whether in orthopedics do you need a robot. And uh, this was the robot which was available to us, and we that is how we got the current robot into our hospital in 2017. Okay, when we uh, looked at the robots available, uh, one of the robots with uh, maximum literature support and which has been you, uh, quite popular throughout the world has been this particular robot. So that made the hospital management look into this system very closely and that's how they could get into a uh, agreement with this particular robot and that's how we got into our hospital, this robot, and we have been very happy with this particular machine which is quite advanced and uh, which has been uh, quite predictable in our hands. Yeah, it's, it's especially in Indian uh, patients, uh, when they get older, 60 years and above, uh, two issues which we commonly face as far as the joints is concerned is the arthritic changes in the joints. And also, especially in women, the incidence of osteoporosis, that is the weakness of the bones, is also quite high. So we always uh, ask our patients to do exercise, walk, and uh, improve their uh, bone loading so as to improve the osteoporosis and also uh, make their uh, lifestyle better. But unfortunately, many of these patients have osteoarthritis and pain in the joints, and they cannot use their joints as they want. So those are the scenarios where we uh, need to uh, offer them something better so that, so that they have pain relief from their arthritic joints and can build up their bone strength and their lifestyle changes once their pain disappears from their joints. Yeah, of course, in the early stages of arthritis, we do advise the people regarding the uh, importance of, uh, you know, in especially uh, currently, as, currently as in the Western world, the obesity is gradually uh, creeping in into the Indian uh, uh, population, our patients also because of the unhealthy food habits. So patients who are obese and arthritic, we advise them to reduce their weight so that their joint pains and their arthritic uh, changes can be controlled to a major extent. And along with that, we advise them a lot of physiotherapy exercise so that they can prevent their arthritis to, to, to a major extent so that they can avoid their joint replacements if possible to a large extent. I'm happy to say that Amrita is one of the uh, first uh, institute in India to get the ISACOS uh, approval. That's an international uh, society for arthroscopy and knee surgery. Uh, based in uh, United States. Uh, we got the Isakosa Proud Fellowship, uh, which has been running for the past 10 years, where we expose the fellows, that is, people who, have, who are orthopedic surgeons after their MS or DNB orthopedics, uh, with a couple of years of experience under them. They can come and uh, join us for fellowship in Amrita. The fellowship is for about a year. They, are, they get exposed to a lot of arthroplasty surgeries. And of course, uh, uh, arthroscopy also is done in the unit, so they get a good exposure to joint problems. And since we have started the uh, robotic surgery since last year, we are also planning to uh, bring up a robotic training uh, fellowship in future. Now, Amrita is among the first two international society for arthroscopy, knee surgery, and orthopedic sports medicine heritage centers in India. How tough was it to achieve the accreditation? Uh, we were lucky to say that uh, right from the beginning of uh, our department, way back in 2000, we had a subspeciality of arthroscopy and uh, joint replacement where both the surgeons who were present were fellowship trained and were experts in this field. So once we had our numbers of uh, cases per year, we could apply to the ISACOS, ISACOS Association and we could get a ISACOS approved fellowship uh, right way back in 2005 onwards and we have been continuing it till now. 
so it was uh, relatively easy with a um, uh, with a setup like the amrda institute which was a teaching institute